welcome back to our youtube channel in this video i'm gonna show you how to configure vagrant virtual machines ip address so let's dive right in let me quickly show you my vagrant that is running and at the moment it has a NAT ip address which is basically the default ip address that comes with um, a vm that you set up so if you notice this one here ubuntu which i set up manually it has two adapters one is the nat and one is the bridge and if you don't understand what bridge adapter means it means the adapter of your physical machine so if you notice this one is saying send Trino advanced pen which is my wireless um, um, the IP address connected to my wireless this my to connected to my wireless adapter. So this bridge IP is connected is like this virtual machine is using my physical machines wireless adapters IP address. I hope you understand that. So basically this machine is connected to the internet. I can access the internet through it. Why this one that doesn't have that just that just have the NAT address? I can access the internet via it and I created this um, virtual machine which is um, red that's in 27 created using a uh, vagrant so how can i change or make it um give it the access like the api address that we enable it to add, um, connect to the internet so that's what i'll be showing in this video it's very simple and easy to do and uh, something you need to know is that vagrant they um you can configure anything on a vagrant anything that you can do on a physical or a normal virtual machine you can also do that on a vagrant virtual machine so how can you do that first locate the vagrant file of the vagrant machine you can easily locate that let me exit out of this um, vagrant you can easily modify the vagrant file i hope you understand that if you can create a vagrant you should know vagrant file so now i'm going to show you that this guy here doesn't have any ip address connected to it. in fact it has but it has been disabled so we are going to enable it now we have a cpu we have around 5 to 12 megabytes and then there's we have a we've got a public ip uh if you are like name like someone that knows vagrant you should know that public ip means internet ip so if we should enable this then this virtual machine automatically we be using our bridge ip that's the idea we'll be using our bridge IP because that's the only way it can have access to the internet there's nothing else connected to it it's not on any network just a standalone virtual machine so we need to give it a bridge ip and the only way to do that is to enable this public network also you can also give it a private network here and by default it comes with this you can change it but just make sure it doesn't uh, clash with your own bridge ip that is your physical machine's ip address so unless if that happens there will be a conflict so ip conflict all right so we are going to probably enable this and then this as well so i'll be using the vim editor to do that just vim vagrant file if you don't understand what vim is it's just a text editor on um, on linux the default one is nano so you can use that as well but to this and it's kind of cool i think it has some learning curve as well so let me show you something skip i'm going to set some line numbers here so that you see what we are doing all right so around um line 35 you see the private network that's the private ip for this so i'm going to enable the public ip as well so that i'll be able to have access give me some access to the internet all right once that is done i just need to save and um to save just the wiki key you'll be able to save then hit enter the file is saved so if i should display it again you notice that the public ip and the private ip has been enabled so all right you see this no this is the public ip enabled also the private ip you should move ahead a little okay this is it 
Now, if I show you start the virtual machine, you will see that the IP addresses will be on it. So let's quickly do that. The background will load. This is going to restart any moment from now. So, and after the restart, you notice that we are going to have more than one adapter here. This signifies that the settings has been saved. So, So you can see shutting down powered off, then it's going to come back on. So. As you can see, now we have three IP addresses. We have the NAT, which is the default, then we have um, the private IP address, then we have the Centrion, which is my bridge IP address. So with that, I can access the internet on this virtual machine. And that's it guys. With that, I've come to the end of this video. I hope you learned a thing or two. I'm very sure of that. If you do, please hit the like button. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.